and a shoulder for afters as well for uh, Cahill's trouble from the number seven from Rathmore. Yeah, Aidan O'Mahony in with his shoulder that time on Barry Cahill, forced the ball out over the line, <laughs> just giving him a second greeting there to remind him that he's around. Time to remind you that uh, Kerry are not going to be taken for granted, and that ball was uh, scrambled for there by Owen Brosnan on the ground. Boot went out, and the referee signals that it's going to be a free kick. And uh, the man who's going to take it will be Stephen Cluxton, who's got 10 points already in this year's championship to go with the uh, five he's got already in his career. He's fourth highest scorer for Dublin in this year's championship. Yeah, it's interesting to see Kerry in the way they have restructured their team. Donaghy, I thought, would just come out for the throw-in, but he's been at midfield since the beginning of the game. And Declan O'Sullivan is in at full forward, been marked by Rory O'Carroll, and, to, you know, up, you know, over the first ten minutes or so, they're having a great tussle. But it means that Keane O'Sullivan, or one of the backs, is free at the other end. Cluxton shooting, and that's got left of target. He's missed the opportunity. Third wide for Dublin. Crowd getting right behind both teams here, looking for a ding-dong final. And the players on uh, both teams, by the way, have asked me to wish the best to Ireland's great rugby team, watching the uh, final in the wee hours of New Zealand. Everybody thrilled with their performance yesterday. That's kicked out by Keeley again, but it's to a Dublin player, to Michael Darrow McCauley. Outside of the boot, forward towards Bernard Brogan, taking on Mark O'Shea. That could be a tasty duel once again. Alan Brogan coming in here. Killian Young alongside him. Gets the shot in. The crowd will tell you where it's gone. It's gone over the bar. Alan Brogan getting Dublin's first. That's the trophy they're hoping to uh, bring with them, a replica, but anyway, from the Hill 16 today. But a lovely, well-constructed move there involving Bernard Brogan. Finished off by Alan, and it's Dublin 1, Kerry 1. Yeah, that was a great area shot, actually, of what happened that time. Killian Young is marking Alan Brogan, going one-to-one -one with him. But Brogan co was confident with his own ability that time, shot a great open score for them. Again, it's Kieran Donoghue who wins the uh, kick out there ahead of James McCarthy, and then is able to feed it to colleagues. Aidan O'Mahony fouled here by Paul Flynn. And the referee's going to bring the ball forward 13 metres, penalising Dublin yardage. And he's going to have a word as well with Paul Flynn. Bit early in the game to be uh, picking up cautions from the referee. Yeah, a little bit of an experience that time on Paul Flynn's part. He got involved unnecessarily, I thought, with um, Kieran Donaghy and has earned himself a yellow card very early in the game to be picking that up. Well, Dublin will be hoping that he will be his uh, usual hugely effective self, but uh, that time he was leading with the hands, as you could see. Free kick, which Brian Sheehan's going to take just inside Dublin's 65 metre line. Oof, that was precise, and it just skids on the ground here and away from Darren O'Sullivan, but the idea was so clever. The idea was clever, Darren O'Sullivan has lost his marker very well, and that's probably down to the fact that Jared Brennan is marking the space in front of the D and not going one-to-one -one with Darren O'Sullivan. Level pegging on the scoreboard as that kick-out comes towards Barry Cahill. Instead, it falls for Brian Cullen, the captain. And he was uh, being fouled from behind by Anthony Marr. Free to Dublin. This to be taken by Barry Cahill. Well, he's got options inside, the two Brogans are waiting for it if it comes in their direction. Might via Kevin Nolan now in a moment. Quickly to react to it there was Brian Sheehan, got it out as far as Tom O'Sullivan. Fisted further out here as far as Killian Young. He's playing out around the half-back line, wherever Alan Brogan goes. Darren O'Sullivan is off, two men after him. Good support play from Donaghy, almost like... He plays, he's playing a basketball game, almost just staying there for a moment and considering his options. Anthony Marr, back out as far as Tomas O'Shea. Kerry, almost toying on occasions with this young Dublin team, still level on the scoreboard, however. O'Shea against Cullen, happy to kick it in the end, put under pressure, good pressure by Brian Cullen. Out via Cluxton. Ger Brennan now to start the counter-attack, taking it back from Paul Flynn. Out to Bastic, Oof, let it bounce rather nervously, under pressure immediately from his man, who's Brian Sheehan, 
Line ball to Dublin, however. Dublin will be hoping to weather the early storm here. Ball to peace. Just trying to find their feet in this final still. Paul Flynn. Kicked in the end by Dennis Bastin. One against three, and the one took it. That's Dermot Connolly. Chipped ahead neatly. Bernard Brogan. After him, Marco Shea. Again, the ground not doing the players any great deal of favour. All the rain we had earlier on. Out by Anthony Maher eventually. Kerry Holder, Tom O'Sullivan. There too is Donica Walsh. Coming away as Anthony Maher. Slipped as far as Aidan O'Mahony. And eventually lost by Killian Young. Lost to Alan Brogan, who kicks and scores another. Two in a row for Alan Brogan. And Dublin take the lead by two points to one. And we're in the 15th minute. Yeah, Kerry might feel aggrieved somewhat that Killian Young coming out of the ball that time was fouled, but I think the referee was correct in letting the, the play go on, and Brogan's got the opportunity and took it superbly. Prospects of a fascinating All-Ireland final. Free kick to oh, Kerry, taken by Tom also Shea. Down here as far as Declan O'Sullivan, holding off the challenges of a couple of Dublin players, one of them Kevin Nolan on the ground. Yeah, it's got to be a free kick. Yeah, there's an interesting tactical issue going on at the moment with Dublin, or with Kerry as well. Anthony Maher is playing very far back in his half-back line, and I think Donaghy has moved to wing forward. The, ha the hand there of Declan O'Sullivan was what made contact with Kevin Nolan. Just coming back here, there you are. I don't think he intended it. His hand was coming back, probably didn't know where the Dublin player was. Wasn't intentional. Giving him the benefit of the doubt. Exactly, trying to brush him off somewhat, but definitely caught Kevin Nolan in the face. Kevin Nolan, who's now teaching in Ongar in uh, Lucan, there who works very prodigiously and has been doing so all summer. He really felt the effects of that arm. Dublin fans in full voice on Hill 16 and every other part of Croke Park, enjoying their team in front. Yeah, and they have a right to be excited by, by their team at the moment. They weathered the initial storm they carried through at them. They're playing very composed football at the moment. They have managed to put great pressure on the Kerry attack any time the ball has gone in there. And the influence that we thought Colin Cooper would be able to exert, a, uh, exert early on in the game hasn't uh, manifested itself so far. Jack O'Connor there in consultation with his backroom team, which included there, as you see on the right-hand side, Alan O'Sullivan, that's the physical trainer. And there's the face of Kevin Nolan from Kilmacott Croaks, the 22-year-old. I'm giving uh, Declan O'Sullivan the benefit of the doubt, as I mentioned earlier, that it wasn't absolutely intentional, but the referee has given a free kick anyway, which is the correct decision. Correct, yeah, well, I, definitely I wouldn't in any way uh, blame uh, Declan O'Sullivan for that. I think he was just trying to push the lad away, which is perfectly legitimate, and in doing so he did catch its face, but there was nothing intentional in it. So Tomaso Shea will take it, now only four championship appearances behind his brother Dara. Race for possession here, eventually kicked in by Anthony Marr. Donaghy now watches, there's nothing he can do about it as the ball again skids on the turf, and that's a fourth wide by Kerry. To trail by two points to one. Yeah, that's quite ragged by Kerry. That's untypical of Kerry. They're not finding their inside men at all, which is most unlike them. This is towards Flynn, but this time it's taken down and won there by Owen Brosnan. I think uh, Kerry have been watching the videos of Dublin because they target Paul Flynn so often from those kickouts by Cluxton. But Dublin have it back. Chair Brennan going long, inside towards Dermot Connolly, fisted away by Tom O'Sullivan. Other players then to pick up the pieces, this time Tom Tom also Shea, on to Darren O'Sullivan. This man has got great pace. Here he goes! Dished off here beautifully, what a goal, that's an absolute peach! And it's the captain who's got it, and it's scored in the 19th minute. And once again, it was the pace of Darren O'Sullivan that cut open the Dublin defence. He would knifed his way through, wonderful run, a penetrating move, dished off to Cooper at the precise time, and what a finish, and it's now 1-1 to two points. Cooper's wonderful dropping off that time, getting into the correct position to receive the pass, but Darren O'Sullivan, like a knife through butters the way he went through the Dublin defence. That was a magnificent magnificent constructed goal and executed goal great response from Kerry now let's see what the quick response from Dublin's going to be rocked by the concession of that Michael Darrell McCauley kicking it in Alan Brogan goes racing after it but it's going to beat everybody for pace once again 
and the place still humming as a result of what was Colum Cooper's 18th ever championship goal. Yes, Gas in the semi final against Mayo, he scored 1 7, haven't had a quite enough first half, but just watch the timing of that pass and the way Cooper just side footed it into the corner. That's precision personified. Beautiful execution by Cooper. It's like as if he's just passing it past the goalkeeper. Back in the middle of the park, Dublin win it. And this time it's Barry Cahill who's fouled by Owen Brosnan. Dublin have got to win those physical battles against Kerry if they're to prevail here. Brian Cullen switching the direction. Neatly forward here, taken in once again by Paul Flynn. Back as far as Bastic. Scored against Tyrone. Bit of a rarity, that one. Left well short. Tomoso Shea. Here's Mark O'Shea. Fisted across here this time as far as Aidan Omani. Loads of experience there. Kerry will keep it nice and calm. Won't get too excited about anything. Darren O'Sullivan goes down. That time under Michael Darren McCauley's challenge. A foul challenge, free kick. Yeah, that's a straightforward foul up around the neck. Uh, just uh, Joe McQuillan has no option but to award a free to carry. Jack O'Connor getting very animated. His player down injured. Earlier on, it was Kevin Nolan who was down injured. And there is going to be a change for uh, Kerry, and the man who's going to come on, and probably the rafters will be raised, will be Paul Galvin, ready to be introduced. Jerry O'Keefe there, one of the selectors alongside him. Meanwhile, Kerry go back into the attack again. Kieran O'Leary going low, trying to play it back out. Donaghy held on here by O'Sullivan. That's Darren O'Sullivan down towards Kieran O'Leary as well, playing in his first All Ireland final. And the 24 year old gets it across beyond Cooper. Falls for Michael Darren McCauley instead. Tracked back well. This final pass out though, just about kept in there by Paul Flynn. This is Ger Brennan stepping away from trouble. Sheehan's after him. Still Brennan. Michael Darla McCauley once again, head up, looking for a, a colleague, finding Cahill with a precise pass. This is much better from Dublin. Cahill going through, being urged forward, taken down just outside the large rectangle, free in. Yeah, I think that's the secret for Dublin. If they can get forwards in a situation where they can get take on the carry backs one and one, that time Cahill went straight line, got past Aidan O'Mahony, who conceded the free just outside the large par parallelogram. That time, frailties shown among the Kerry defenders. Five of the six over 31 years of age, remember. This free kick to be taken by Bernard Brogan, looking for his first point of the match. And there was a yellow card there, which is to Aidan O'Mahony. So a yellow card per team. Bernard Brogan kicking this, routine one for him, puts it over the bar. Bernard Brogan puts it over, and it's 1-1 to uh, three points off the ball while we were watching that this is what was happening down at the other end of the field well I saw what was happening there and I didn't see ultimately what happened but what happened there I think um, Declan O'Sullivan and, and Rory O'Carroll came over uh, Declan O'Sullivan came over to have a word with Jack O'Connor Rory O'Carroll came with him now I don't know what happened after that but I certainly Declan O'Sullivan down the heat so it, you know you can only uh, speculate uh, that maybe Rory O'Carroll made contact with them, but I didn't see it actually happening, but I saw the prelude to it. Well, it uh, resulted in Joe McQuillan going down to have a word with his umpires now, and down there at the Hill 16 end, Jimmy Galligan and T.P. Gray are the two umpires. So what did the men in white see? No need for Judge Judy, we've got uh, the two men here who probably will have a, had a very good view